In the past on this program, we've talked about alcoholism, drug abuse, and compulsive gambling, to name a few. But today we're going to discuss an addiction that is still a well-kept secret. In fact, it's only recently that it's even begun to be recognized and understood by both the public and those who suffer from it. It's called sexual addiction. And it can be as devastating as any of the behaviors I just mentioned. Dr. Patrick Carnes is a family therapist who's been treating men and women since 1976. He's the author of the new book, Sexual Addiction. Joining him are two women whose identities we have agreed to conceal, Ruth and Sally. Dr. Carnes, first of all, what is sexual addiction? Well, sexuality is a very strong, powerful force in people's lives. And like any other kind of mood-altering experience, people can become addicted to it to the point where they will sacrifice the most important things to them, their family, their work, their values, um, all, all the things that they really truly cherish in the interest of preserving this behavior. And it's often a very secret kind of a life. It often uh, is exploitive of other people. Um, they often have a great feeling of despair and shame about what they have done and will repeatedly try to stop and make promises uh, to themselves to stop. Like, for example, picking a child's birthday. For example, I'm going to stop on this day. And uh, not being able to do that. Um, often it's empty of relationship. In other words, people ending up not only making love or being sexual with people that they they don't know, but even people they don't like. And so they find themselves powerless in the face of uh, this uncontrollable addiction that they have. 